Hi guys, Jessica with Motorsportsland here, 4001 South and State Street, Salt Lake City, Utah. Today I am excited to show you the long-awaited 2023 Winnebago Hike 100s. We're going to take a look today at the model 1316 TB. Something that I just recently learned yesterday is Winnebago's hikes, the 1316 TB stands for something. This is a 13 foot box, 16 feet overall, and that TB is gonna be a twin bunk model. So those numbers aren't just to confuse everybody, they have a meaning there. And I, having done this as long as I have, have just recently learned what those mean from Winnebago as well. So, fun little fact, that way you can know what you're looking at and exactly what that floor plan is gonna mean for you. So these things have been long awaited. Let's get in and kind of look at some of the features around the outside. We'll take a tour of the inside, give you all the information and the best the Hike 100s have to offer you. So starting on your outside, awning, LED lighting, nice shady spot out for the campground area. Um, one of my favorite features of this guy is under your awning space, you've got this kind of flexible utility box here. So this actually folds up into a box here or when you unlock it, you can bring it all down. If you need a little bit of like a workstation, um, maybe someplace because you've got your propane quick connect right here under the awning as well for your cooking area outside. Use those little cooking prep station, store all your gear in here, maybe some of your outside cooking gear, doesn't really matter. Flexibility here is a huge thing. Um, so I love that this is just, it's easy to put up, it's easy to take down. It's massive, it's got a ton of space in it huge plus to these Winnebago Hike 100s. Um, walking around your outside, of course you've got the propane quick connect, electric stabilizer jacks, and these things have an independent suspension system. So they are going to independently work tire and tire here. Um, you have a massive amount of clearance here. So from here to the ground, you are gonna have 12 inches of clearance. From the midpoint to the ground, you're gonna have 17 inches of clearance. In a travel trailer, that is gonna make a huge difference on where you get to take this thing. A um, little more off-roading, backwoods adventures. You don't have to worry about taking yourself out on any rocks, dinging anything up underneath, ripping anything out that you're not supposed to. Um, this independent suspension system that Winnebago has done is absolutely phenomenal. It was really good thinking on their part. Walking around the outside of this, you also have your guardrails here. So these, along with that independent suspension, getting you a little more off-roading experience in these, um, these are gonna help kind of protect. You're not gonna have to worry about banging the corners of anything. You're not gonna have to worry about, you know, brush getting caught underneath there, damaging anything. Um, so you've got rails all the way around the outside and up the front into a cargo area almost. So this kind of helps protect that. Make sure that you're not backing the end of your trailer in anything, bumping it, knocking it on anything. We want to keep this amazing Hike 100 looking as good as it does for years to come. Uh, you have your back entry door here. Um, so this is going to be used in unison with this flip up chair bench here. So you can put the bikes, the kayaks, paddle boards, whatever you need to through this door here into your cargo space up here. Um, you've got a little accessory rack. I've seen a lot of people using little carabiners, hooks, different kinds of things. You can hang gear on here, anything you want to have quick access to from the outside of the trailer. And then you've got this, uh, this nice big door, gets you all, all the access you need here. Key to light system, so it works with the same keys as the rest of the trailer. One and done kind of key system. It'll open everything. Uh, standard with your Winnebago products, you are going to have a receiver hitch. This is a two inch, 150 pound receiver hitch. So this would be more for a bike rack, um, you know, a small cargo rack, things like that on the trailer. Uh, not meant for towing anything behind you, but it will definitely hold a little bit of weight to get you some extra things that maybe you want to bring with you. Your Voyager camera prepped and all the Winnebago products as well. That is going to be the same for the Hike 100s and we love that. You can add a backup camera if you'd like to. Huge, huge benefits there. Make sure, again, you're not backing into anything. You can see where you're going, parking it in any, any place you want to without having to worry about bumps and bruises. Coming around the side here, this will be your off-camp side. You will have a little storage nook here under one of your bunks. Uh, nice thick slam latch baggage doors, nice big insulated compartments. And you'll have another one of these little cargo rack or cargo containers here. This one is not gonna drop down into that utility you know fold down table space but this thing is pretty i mean pretty massive in here that you can fit some extra extra gear in here as well uh, kind of just round out and match the other side 
course hot and cold outdoor shower electric stabilizer jacks easy button push there uh, ladder you've got the collapsible ladder so this is going to be similar to what you know we're seeing on toy haulers and things where you just pull the pins out and then you can push the ladder up and get it out of the way it's going to be a little more flush so this guy right here is just going to go all the way up there be a little more flush if you need some extra clearance you're worried about taking out your ladder don't need to have that and then you can just put your pins somewhere safe make sure that you know where they are Moving along here, you've got this small compartment right in here, and this is going to be your cassette toilets black tank. So this is going to be your 4.5 gallons of black tank capacity here in this removable little cassette toilet option. Easy to slide in and out, easy to clean and get emptied there. Shut it away in the compartment when it's all clean and done, you don't have to worry about it. Winnebago has the Go Power portable plug on the side for solar here. Standard in all Winnebago products now, including the Hike 100s, is going to be 200 watts of solar on the roof and your solar controller mounted inside. But if you do feel like you need a little extra solar, maybe you wanna pack a portable panel just in case, you're gonna be parked under some trees, you know, anything that's gonna maybe impede your sunlight, you can still get a portable panel, run it out away from maybe where you're shaded and still get that solar charge off of it. Coming around the front here, you've got this amazing cargo rack system that they've put on the front of the hikes and this is actually going to carry some weight to it you can mount things on here i saw a video i wanted to show that they had a couple of gas cans a cool little tent system that you know they could just pull everything off really easily and be able to access it all if they didn't want to get into it right then and there electric tongue jack propane um, and then of course coming around to this side you've got your spray port here so this will be ambient tank water from your spray port if you got dirty feet dirty pets dirty kids whatever you just need a quick place to rinse them off right here by the door you absolutely can and then a nice little 110 volt plug out here if you need some power hookup and now we're going to step into the inside and take a look at some of the amazing interior features that this guy has to offer all right guys stepping inside the 1316 tb hike 100 from Winnebago. This is going to be your TB layout. Back here you are going to have your twin bunks. TB, twin bunks. You've got a flip up bunk up here that pins up against the wall and then you're going to have a removable table as well. So this can be taken outside if you need it to. Um, use it in here if it's a rainy day outside. You need a place for everybody to sit. And then to fit all that stuff that you got room for, cargo rack, you know, or all that cargo space that you have room for back here, um, you have a rollover bench bed as well. So this will make a good little bed space. You can also roll it over and pin it against the wall here, and that way you can load everything into this space from the back door if you need it. You got some good overhead storage compartments up here, nice, solid, hidden hinge, clean finish, clean looking. And then over here is where you've got your wardrobe space. And your wardrobe space, great for storage, the clothes storage, anything else that you need. There's some pretty cool things in here that I'll show you as we're kind of moving through. Um, you've got an induction cooktop. So all of your Hike 100s will come with the induction cooktop. This is just a single burner induction cooktop. And I'll show you where you can kind of hook that guy up at. And then you've got your uh, sink cover for in your kitchen space and then these really cool racks that I'll show you when we move into the bathroom kind of how those work and what those can be used for. So now let's take a look at the front of the trailer. All right guys moving into the bathroom this is going to be a wet bath so you're going to have shower sink toilet combination here. Oh here's those shelves that I talked about again. So these can be used for some extra storage space in your bathroom if you need to. Um, also a really big thing you're out it's rainy you're you're out in the mud getting dirty everything is messy you need to rinse it off or it's wet outside. These can be used as nice little drying racks for all your gear make sure that you know they're not out under the awning in bad weather getting even more soaked you can hang them up in here. Um, you've got another little hanging space as well if you need to and then you can hook up the shower curtain up here which is in the storage compartment for it. Um, you can hang the shower curtain so you can protect your door while you're in here taking a shower. Moving into the kitchen space here you'll have some storage under your sink and this is actually going to be where your solar controller is mounted as well. So it's put up in that compartment as close as we can get it to where the batteries would be mounted on the frame. Um, 
less space from point A to point B for there to be any kind of issues with. So that's right there, close and handy. You've got an easy pull out faucet here, a little sink space. You do have a sink cover for this as well. You've also got a, um, a wireless phone charger here. So you can just take out your device, set it here. Boop, it's already charging. Leave it there, set it and forget it, right? 110 volt plug here. And then moving into your kitchen space, in that storage compartment, we did, in this wardrobe space, we did see that induction cooktop. So you've got space here with this nice little pull out drawer that you could put your induction cooktop on it, hook it up in here to that 110 volt plug. And here you are cooking this, your nice little kitchen space in here, or you can move it outside to that utility bench that we looked at out there. That induction cooktop is going to be really flexible in how you get to use it. Also, you've got the Everchill. It's a 3.1 cubic foot fridge, and this is going to be a 12 volt RAM fridge. So this will run strictly off of battery power. Huge upgrade that we're putting the solar on things. Make sure you got plenty of battery power. This fridge can run indefinitely off of that system. Um, and they chill in an hour. They're super efficient. It, it just really is the wave of the future in RV fridges doing these 12 volt fridges. You got a little bit of storage space up here. Of course, you've got your convection oven microwave in here as well. And then of course your control panel. You'll notice on your control panel is you've got this fancy little switch right here that is going to be tank heaters. You will have tank heaters on your gray and your fresh tank, and that's going to be something you can easily switch on and then make sure you keep everything a little warmer. You do have a force heated air enclosed underbelly as well as radiant foil, a two inch thick wall in here. So you're really well insulated in the Hike 100 products, but that tank heater gives you an extra, extra little step of protection um, that if you do go out in hunting season, if you're more of a winter camper in some cold weather, that we're not freezing anything up or breaking anything. All right, another fun feature of the Winnebago Hike 100s is going to be what is in this brown box down here. It comes with all the Hike 100s. This is going to be the Batwing awning. Um, this awning actually adds an additional, I think they said it's 200 square feet of campable space on the outside of your trailer. We have one actually set up on another model that's in our showroom on the SB model of the Winnebago Hike 100s that we can go take a look at how it works and how it's set up. and. Uh, See, see what it has to offer for you. So come on over and let's take a peek at that. All right, guys, this is that bat wing that's coming with all of the Hike 100s now. Um, we have ours currently set up in the showroom, so I can't stake it into the ground and everything. We got it set up with some string out here, but there's proper tie down rope and stakes to make sure everything's mounted properly. It's not going anywhere in the wind, but this will be where it's kind of starts out at is your ladder is going to be in the same place in all of your hike 100s so this is the starting point here and it goes up and over and around the back side but something really cool about it is you can make this almost enclosure here so you can kind of use it as maybe like a little storagey space if you're parking it a little more long term or you can use it as kind of an enclosure to your outdoor shower if you want some privacy you don't want anybody to see what's going on back here so this thing adds quite a bit of space to it um, i believe in the specs from winnebago they were saying it adds like 200 extra square feet to your campable space so this is your outdoor shower right here if i'm back here in our bat wing awning enclosure nobody can really see what's going on here it's blocked off um, hooked up to the ladder here. You got some poles everywhere that kind of hold this in place, this enclosure section. And then you can come around the back here and the bat wing also covers the back end of your trailer as well. So you've got awning on the, on the door side. Plus you have all of this space here. And of course this is the SB model. So it's going to look a little different on the trailer itself. Um, but everything as far as the bat wing will be the same, no matter which floor plan you're in with them. So, I mean, we got plenty of space out here. Here's our removable table that comes with most of these floor plans. Some camping chairs. I mean, this is a whole lot of extra space for your camping experience that if you got people come with you, you got people camp next to you that, you know, friends, family, whatever, you all want to have kind of a central gathering place. You're almost completely surrounded by awning and shade and camp space in your campsite. So the Batwing, fantastic feature. We love to see it finally set up one in the showroom here. So this is, uh, it's pretty amazing. I've seen a lot about them. We love to actually see it in person. So there you have the inside of the 
1316 TB Hike 100. Um, again, long awaited product. We're super stoked. They have tons to offer for you um, for everybody's camping needs. Loads of sleeping, loads of storage and a 13 foot box. Again, I'm Jessica with Motorsportsland, 4001 South and State Street in Salt Lake City, Utah. Come on down and check out our new Hike 100s. We are more than happy to show you these amazing products.